today shows, and our numbers of 5,000, that we are truly not alone. And that every time we go out and fight on the behalf of animals, we fight with thousands, tens of thousands of people behind us. We fight united as a community. But let it be known that when we leave here today, that is not the end. It is only the beginning. It is the beginning of a new era of animal rights. The beginning of a new world where all animals are treated with love, respect, compassion and kindness, regardless of their species. Let it be known that when we leave here today, we leave as activists, bound by our moral duty to speak up on behalf of those who are oppressed. It is time for us to do what must be done and not what is easy. To do what is necessary and not what is convenient. We have an obligation to fight on behalf of those who cannot fight for themselves. It is believed by many that veganism is the moral baseline, however this is untrue. Vegan activism is the moral baseline. And there's an analogy that sums this up perfectly. And the analogy goes, there is a man beating a dog with a stick. A second man comes down the road and sees the man beating the dog. Now the man with the stick says to the other man, I have another stick, come join me and we'll beat and kill this dog together. And the second man has three options. The first choice he can make is he can say, sure, I'll grab that second stick and I'll beat that dog with you. The second choice the man can make is he can say, I see what you are doing. What you are doing is wrong and immoral, and I will not participate in what you are doing. In essence, the second choice is veganism. Veganism is non-participation. It's seen an industry or an act that you don't agree with, and it's saying that you will not participate in it. But most importantly, the dog still gets beaten and still dies if the man takes the second option. The third option the man can take is he says, I see what you are doing. What you are doing is wrong and immoral. And not only will I not participate, but I will actively intervene and stop you. The third choice is vegan activism. Because it's the only choice the man can make where the dog's life is saved. And as such, becoming an activist is the only choice that we can make which saves the lives of animals. It is time for us to stand up, speak up, and say no longer will we tolerate these industries that exploit and murder animals. No longer will we remain silent whilst those we care about are suffering. No longer will we allow these industries to continue. No longer will we allow these acts of evil to be carried out. It is time. It is time for us to rise up and shout, NOT IN MY NAME! These industries may have fooled us, deceived us into thinking it was okay to support the slaughter of animals, but no longer will we stand for it! And the fight ahead, the fight ahead will not be easy. We will face challenges because the corporations and industries that we are up against will not go down without a fight. But they will not win. They will never win. Because for all of their money and for all of their political influence, we have one thing they will never have. We have the truth! Wow, this is really incredible. Thank you so much. That was really powerful for me. Yeah, thank you. And thank you. It is time for us to stand up and put ourselves in the position of these animals. What if it was you in the truck on the way to the slaughterhouse? What if it was you tied down to the operating table in the laboratory? What if it was you in that cage in the fur farm or you in that circus ring being goaded to perform tricks? What would you expect of those who claim to care about you? Would you expect them to be silent? Or would you expect them to rise up, stand up and protect you? To understand why we must all be active, we need only put ourselves in their position. Feel their pain, feel their suffering, feel their anguish for one second. This is why we must all be active. Because if it was us in their position, we would expect others to fight on our behalf. I promise you a future exists where the last wall of every slaughterhouse is knocked to the ground. I promise you a future exists where every cage and every laboratory is empty forever. I promise you a future exists where every animal in the wild is allowed to roam freely without fear of being hunted by humans. 
I promise you a future exists where every animal is treated with love, respect, kindness, dignity and compassion. I promise you a future exists where the last animal farm is closed and burned to the ground. If we want to see a vegan world, then it's time that we all face the burden that lies on each and every one of our shoulders. Don't expect others to fight the battles that we all must collectively share. Don't expect others to create this world on their own. The future is there in front of us, but we must seize it together. There is no more time for excuses, no more time for complacency or apathy. Now is the time to come together, to fight together, and to win together. Every one of you came here today because you felt that fire inside of you. The obligation to make your voice heard and to oppose the industries that think they can exploit and kill animals without consequence. Every single one of you came here today because you felt that responsibility, that desire to create a brighter future for all life. Every single one of you came here today so that when the future generations ask you, what did you do? You can say that you stood on the right side of history. Most of us weren't born vegan. Many of us paid for animals to suffer and die. Animals suffered and died for us, so that we could eat their flesh and wear their skin. And as such, we have a moral obligation to, to fight to protect their brothers and sisters. But we fight not only to protect the animals that are yet to be bred, we fight to beg, to beg for forgiveness for the ones that died for us before. The way I see it, animals had their lives taken from them by us. So the least we can do is fight with the rest of our lives for them. Our existence on this planet is only temporary. But the world that we leave behind will define the future and outlive us forever. Now is the time. Now is the time. The time to fight.